Hello learners. In this session, we are going to discuss the most important topic, types of analytics. So people in the industry are talking about data analysis, analytics, data science, data analytics, business analytics, right? So what is this analytics? What are the types of analytics? What can we do with this analytics? So do you have all these questions? Look into this video and get a clear understanding of it. So first of all, let us try to understand what is analytics? Very simple, not complicated to understand the terminology. Analysis we say, right? So analytics is the process of discovering, interpreting, significant patterns from the data. So what do we mean by this? In layman term, if I explain, we have data, we just try to derive important information from the data so that we can take better decisions. Very simple. So what is the application of analytics? We can take better decisions by analyzing the data or by finding out significant patterns from the data. I hope it is clear. So let us now understand the analytics and its types with the help of two scenarios. So let me explain scenario one. Just imagine that you are unwell. So what do we do when we are unwell? We just imagine ourselves as a doctor and then we take some medicines and see whether we could solve the problem or not. So now assume that you couldn't solve your problem. So you meet the doctor and you explain your problems with the doctor. Now the doctor is checking you. He is doing physical checkup or x-ray or scan to find out the reason for your illness. Then the doctor is telling about the future, like at least now you have reached the hospital, otherwise it could have taken to some sort of complications in the future. So the doctor is telling you about the future, what sort of complications you could have faced if you have not reached the hospital. Finally, the doctor is prescribing some medicines or surgery to you to solve your problems. So this would be the steps, right? So let us move on to scenario two. So just assume that I'm a businesswoman. I have some business or I can say that uh, I have uh, uh, some uh, shops. Okay, so let it be. Uh, shop so that you can understand it better, right? So shop A, shop B and shop C. And I could see that shop A and shop B business is really good and I'm not really happy with the, the business C. So I just meet you. Who are you? You are all analysts, right? So what will you do now? So step number one, you will just listen to my problem patiently. You will try to understand the business problem and then you will collect the data of business A, B and C. Once you collect the data, you will try to understand, okay, what has happened in the past because you are going through the historical data and you will find out like which products uh, were being sold the most, for which products there was a high demand, which product there was a less demand, and what was the average expense. So basically what you were doing, you were trying to understand the data and trying to get the statistical information out of it. Right? So once you do that, Step number two is that you will try to find out the reason for the problem. What was the problem? 
I was not happy with the business scene. So you will now try to find out the reason for the problem. Now step number three. How you will tell me that Lata, this is going to be the sale in the upcoming month or upcoming year. So basically you will be predicting about the future when no action is taken. So this is the scenario. Like you can see that this is the scenario and you are trying to predict about the future from the past data. So now the last step would be like you will be testing me the solution for the problem. So let me make it make this scenario clear. So you listen to my problem, you understood the problem statement, collected the data and then deriving statistical information about it. And then you were trying to find out the reason for the problem. And then you were predicting about the future. And then finally, you could give me the solution for the problem. So let us now compare both the scenarios. Right? So scenario one, you explained your problems to the doctor. In scenario two, from the given data, from the collected data, you are trying to get the explanation about the data or description about the data, which is nothing but descriptive analytics. Why I am comparing it with the medical scenario so that you can understand it better. Look at the second, second case, second step. So the doctor was trying to find out the reason by physical checkup or x-ray or scan. So in the medical domain, how do we call this? Diagnosis, exactly, you are right. So here also, you are trying to find out the reason for the problem, which is nothing but diagnostic analytics. The third step, the doctor was uh, telling you about the complications in the future. In case if you didn't meet the doctor. The same thing is happening here. You are just predicting about the future. What could be the sales? What could be the expected sales in the upcoming months or years? How do we call this as predictive analytics? The final step is that the doctor would be giving some medicines or surgery, right? So how do we call it in medical term? Exactly. Brilliant prescription, right? So when you try to give me the solution for the problem, this is basically prescriptive analytics. So let us quickly try to understand it. So first step, we have to start with descriptive analytics, which is nothing but what happened in the past. Second step is diagnostic analytics. Why did it happen? The third one is predictive analytics. What will happen in the future? The final step is prescriptive analytics. What actions need to be taken? If you see that, it should go in this order. If you are trying to do predictive analytics, before that you have to do descriptive analytics, diagnostic analytics, then only you have to do predictive analytics. Right? So, this step is very important, prescriptive analytics, that is, that is going to be helpful to take the decisions. I hope this, this has given you a clear understanding about types of analytics. So if you have any questions, you can put it in the chat window. Thank you.